armed bull. <laughs> She's the bear. Okay, let's start with the bull argument. <laughs> yeah, let's start with the brokerage views first on why we are talking about this today. We have MK, which is has a bull case, maintains a buy rating, has raised the target price to seven thousand, which uh, presents a four, fifteen point four percent upside. And the bear case, which Rucha will be presenting, is the UBS, um, maintain a sell rating at three thousand three hundred and fifty target price. When you talk about the first point, is on volumes. Now MK says that the two wheeler industries wholesale volumes have been performing strongly. All categories seeing double-digit annual growth. Rucha, what does UBS say about? Yeah, volumes? so talking about uh, the volumes, UBS says that, uh, however, uh, Hero's retail volume growth will lag peers because there's a six lakh unit difference between the kind of uh, inventory that wholesalers have and retailers have. So essentially, Hero Motor Corp is pushing the inventory to the wholesalers rather than uh, you know uh, catering to the actual demand is what UBS says. But uh, talk to us about what MP MK has on this. Yeah, part. MK says that. The um, inventory levels are actually stable, and they mark the monsoons, uh, favorable monsoons, and the upcoming festive and marriage season um, to help and benefit uh, positively when it comes to vehicle dispatches. But let's talk about market share now. Uh, Hero Motor Corp has been losing market share, but MK believes that the market share loss is behind the company. They expect a 50 basis point improvement in domestic motorcycle market from FY24 to FY27. But UBS presents a different view. So you rightly mentioned, Mika, that Hero Motor Corp is losing its market share. And it is now below 24 percent, 400 basis points, or 4 percent uh, behind uh, Honda. But uh, uh, UBS believes that this decline in market share will continue going forward, and it is likely due to uh, erosion in motorcycle volume number one, and also case coming from competition uh, facing from uh, Bajaj and uh, Honda uh, as well. And uh, it also expects a shift uh, in consumer taste towards uh, electronic vehicles, largely in the rural areas. So. uh market share largely declining due to volumes number 1 and number 2 uh the kind of consumer shift is what the ubs believes and lastly i think no argument is not complete without talking about the valuations now on the bull case we have mk values at 24 times um the p ratio and they believe that this valuation remains favorable because they expect the success of their latest launches of hero motor corp to have a full year impact and recover the market share that has been lost you're right meeka but you know what uh, ubs says actually that value Valuations are higher than its five-year-old average. Uh, wherein, in terms of UBS uh, estimates, it uh, values the company at around 26 times its FY 20, uh, 26 earnings versus what MK believes is at 24 times. But uh, to uh, you turn know, to end this conversation over here, let me talk to you about the analyst recommendation according to Bloomberg. Well, uh, it's a bullish scenario according to Bloomberg with uh, 28 buy calls, eight sell calls as we, as we can see, and six hold calls. But even after a bullish scenario over here. the return potential is negative at around 10% so uh, you know tamanna and iraj this is what we have largely on hero motor car great pace the bull and bear version and i love it that uh, both of you standing on the opposite side <laughs> so it tells people how you should see the other point of view <laughs> in any conversation just made it up yeah did we were there are two sides <laughs> as well all right hero is definitely uh, buzzing uh, frankly so is the whole market